Hello everyone. Myself Ranjit Gias. I am a CSE student from Srivanteshwara College of Engineering, Bangalore. Now, I, in this video, I am going to give a presentation on corrosion penetration rate, which is present in a subject named Applied Chemistry for CSE Stream. Now, let us see the topic. Corrosion penetration rate. First of all, what does corrosion penetration rate mean? The corrosion penetration rate is defined in three ways. First one, the speed at which any metal in a specific environment deteriorates due to a chemical reaction in the metal when it is exposed to a corrosive environment. That means the speed at which a metal or an alloy get corroded easily due to some chemical reaction when it is exposed to some certain uh, corrosive environment like uh, moisture, air, etc. Second one, the amount of corrosion loss per year in thickness. Third one, the speed at which corrosion spreads to the inner portions of a material. That is the portions which are below the outer layer of the metal which is exposed to the oxygen. The speed or rate of deterioration depends on the environmental conditions and the type and condition of the metal under study. Corrosion penetration rate is also known as corrosion rate. It depends on the following factors. It means the corrosion penetration rate. Nature of a metal, second one, nature of a corrosive environment, third one, nature of a corrosion product, fourth one, speed at which corrosion spreads in the inner portion of a metal. Corrosion penetration rate is directly proportional to weight loss after exposure time. That is, CPR is directly proportional to weight loss. If the CPR is more, then the weight loss is also more. If the CPR is less, then the weight loss is also less. This method involves the exposure of a weighed piece of test metal or alloy to a specific environment for a specific time. This is followed by a thorough cleaning to remove the corrosion product and then determining the weight of the lost metal due to corrosion. That means the weight of a lost metal can be obtained by removing thoroughly the corrosion, the corrosion portion in the metal. The rate may vary if the rate expressed by a formula is used to compare corrosion rates for a period of time longer than one year with rate calculated over short period. This is because the short time periods are prone to fluctuating environment changes from season to season and also from day to day. The corrosion penetration rate is calculated using the following formula. CPR is equal to K into W divided by rho into A into T. Y, where W is equal to weight loss of a metal, T is equal to time taken for a loss of a metal, rho is equal to density of the metal, A is equal to surface area of the metal, K is equal to constant. The CPR is expressed in terms of MPY and MMPY. That is MPY mean, means miles per year and MMPY means millimeter per year. The table represents the three columns. The first column is terms and it contains all the terms and the second column is in which forms the given value should be to calculate to MPY and the third column represents in which form the given value should be to calculate the MMPY. Here the gram per centimeter cube is nothing but gram per cc. Now let us discuss a numerical based on corrosion penetration rate. Let us see the question. Question 1. A sheet of carbon 1 meter wide and 3 meter long has lost 40 grams due to corrosion over the past 6 months. Convert that mass to a penetration rate of the steel in MPY and MMPY units. Given density of a steel is equal to 7.8 gram per cc, which is equal to 7.8 grams per centimeter cube. Now let us write down the formula. That is CPR is equal to K into W by rho into A into T. Write down the given W that is weight loss is equal to 40 grams and the density is given as 7.8 gram per cc and the length is equal to 3 meters and the width is equal to 1 meter and the time is equal to 6 months. Now they are given length and width. Now let us find out the area. The area is equal to length into breadth whereas length is 3 meter and breadth is 1 meter. Therefore we get area is equal to 3 meter square. Let us write down the tabular column like this and enter the parameters in the first column and the given data in the second column and the given data which is converted into MPY form in the third column and the given data which is converted into MMPY form in the fourth column. Now, the K value is constant for MPY and MMPY that is 534 for MPY and 587.6 in MMPY. The weight should be in 
milligrams for both MPY and MMPY, but the given data is in grams. Just convert it into mg, that is milligrams by multiplying 1000. And the density is given in 7.8 grams per cc, which is which is already in the form which should be in MPY and MMPY. And the area is equal to 3 meters, meter square. We should convert it into in square for MPY by multiplying 1550 to 8. And we should multiply 10,000 to convert it into centimeter square, which is required for MMPY. And the time is given as 6 months in the question. And we should convert it into hours for both MPY and MMPY by multiplying 30 into 24, where 30 is equals to number of days per month and 24 is equal to number of hours per day. Now let us calculate the CPR of steel in MPY. Write down the formula CPR is equals to K into W by rho into T AT and enter the MPY that is MPY values that is in third column here and calculate we will get a CPR as 1.363 MPY. Therefore, the CPR of steel in MPY is 1.363 MPY whereas the star represents multiplication. Now let us calculate the CPR of steel in MMPY. Now add on the formula and enter the fourth column that is the data which is present in the MMPY column and calculate we will get the CPR is equal to 0 0.0034 MMPY. Therefore the CPR of steel in MMPY is 0 0.0034 MMPY. Like this we can calculate the MPY and MMPY of any given material by using this formula. Thank you.